Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be solving a linear programming problem and it is a facility location problem. Um, this person did this using some other package I think on Python, um, but I'm going to be using the pulp package. And I did do parts of this problem in all my pulp basics videos, um, but this video is going to be a full tutorial on how to use um, pulp to solve a facility location problem. Um, one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to sit here and type out all the dictionaries and all the sets. Um, so, but I am going to go through and explain what each one means and what each one is used for and um, maybe if there's something that's a little um, more complex, I'll go into more detail about that. Um, so first, of course, we want to start off with this from Im pulp import asterisk. You always want to have that in your um, linear programming problems in Python. Um, and now I'm going to go into detail about what is going on in this problem. Um, so we have five different customers. We have three facilities. Um, so basically, those are our sets. Um, and I'm just going to type that here, our sets. Um, and then the next thing um, that's important, all of our parameters are shown in this table. So um, basically, each customer has a certain demand of this product that they, um, I guess, that the facility is creating for them. And um, there is a cost for... Um, a specific customer to a specific facility, a transportation cost, and that is all these right here, not not these side ones. Um, this F uh, subscript J is a yearly activation cost for each facility. Um, this M is the max amount that can be handled yearly um, at each facility, and that's the same for all of them. Um, and then um, finally, I just want to note that this cost parameter does have two subscripts, so I'm going to explain that. Um, and then what our actual problem is um, asking for, we want to minimize, um, let's see, where does it say? It says uh, minimize the sum of facility activation costs, so that's right here, and then the transportation costs. Um, so um, what's going on here is if this binary variable equals one, then that activation cost will be included, and then we're also going to add to um, the amount service from I to J times um, the cost service or the cost of servicing from I to J. So we're trying to minimize that, and these are our constraints. Um, so first, let me just explain how I set up these sets and parameters. So, um, as I said in my previous videos, for sets you want to have list so we have the five customers and the fi uh, three facilities and then these dictionaries are our parameters so that's how you want to start off your problems in Python you want to have your sets and then go on to your parameters um, so first we have our C subscript IJ or we have our not our C subscript IJ our demand um, parameter that's this row right here so we have all the customers, then we have their demands, um, then we have these facility activation costs, the max that can be produced at each facility, and then this one was a little trickier, but I talked about that in my um, dictionary video, that when you have two specific lists you're referring to within a dictionary, um, you start off with one of them and then do colon, and then make another list of all the values for each um, in this case I did the facilities first and then the customers but you could do it the other way around um, so the next thing we want to do we want to set our problem variable so we want to say prob equals LP problem um, we're just going to name this facility uh, facility location and then this is a minimization so we're going to say um, LP minimize and let me just make sure I have all that capitalization right I've already done this problem um, LP problem okay so then the next thing we need to do of course is uh, we need to set our decision variables. Um, this takes a little while, but I'm going to try to go quicker than in my other video. 
Um, I just want to mainly be able to show um, that you can get the correct solution with Python. Um, so our decision variables, the first one we are deciding how much to service from customer I to location J. Um, so what we want to say, we're going to call this serve underscore vars, and we are going to um, say lp variable dot dicts, and then we are going to name that service, and then um, our second argument is going to be the list that we refer to. Um, in this case, we have two lists that we need to refer to. Um, so I have that pulled up right here. We're going to need to do this loop. So we have, uh, we're going to have, let's see, bracket parentheses i comma j. Um, let's make i be for customers. We're going to start off with the customers because that's how they have it set up here. Um, they have C, I, J, and they had I as the index for customer, J as the index for facility. So we're going to say for customers, and then line that up with that loop and say for J, forgot the in, customers, for J in facility. Um, just make sure those names are the same as the list you created. Um, and then we're going to do bracket comma. Zero is our lower bound or our non-negativity constraint. And then our next decision variable is going to be called use underscore vars. And what they did here is they said um, that, where is it? Xij um, is the amount service. Oh, we already did that one. Uh, yj is whether or not a facility is established at location J, um, otherwise the value is zero. So we can see that it's a binary variable. Um, so we're going to say LP variable dot DICTS. And let's call this use location so that we know this is what is determining whether or not um, a location is being used. And the only set in this case, um, YJ, so um, we already determined that J is going to index our facility. Um, so we want to use a facility set. And then um, 0, 1 for binary. And then LP binary. Let me just check that. All right. Um, so then the next thing, we need to go ahead and we need to write our objective function for this problem. Um, so the objective function, um, remember that some of my tips for um, constraints and objective function, you want to see first if there's a for all sign, and um, there usually isn't in an uh, objective function. Um, I don't think there ever is. But um, So we want to start off with assigning our objective function to our problem variable that was created up here. You have to make sure this comes first, and you want to um, assign it to that. So we're going to say LP sum, since there's a summation, and then move on to the next part. FJ is our um, activation cost. So up here we have act cost, and we need to index that using um, J for our facilities, and then multiply that. Um, it, it's really easy if you just think of each variable they have in terms of whatever you name that dictionary um, and then just put the subscript in brackets. So then the next thing, yj, we named that y is our use um, underscore vars j. And then we also need to include our loop since we are summing over our j. So the loop is what... Um, is specifying what we're summing over for J in facility. Close that off plus um, LP sum because we have another summation and we are just going to say um, that is our um, transportation cost times the amount of service. So um, we call that transp and then our um, for a dictionary you do, um, we're going to do J, or no, we're going to do, uh, we, so for our facility list, J is our index, and since we put that first in our um, dictionary, we need to refer to J first, and then we need to index the I so it knows 
um, first look at the J, then look at the I. Um, if you did it the other way around, then you would say I, J. Um, so now that we index that dictionary, we need to multiply that by our decision variable of surveyors. And um, this is different because it's a decision variable, so we're not indexing it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, parentheses or bracket parentheses i comma j parentheses bracket. Um, that's just what you do when you have a decision variable that is referring to two sets. Um, and then we also need our loop in here since we are summing over our i and our j. And let's start off with the j since we have that first in these brackets for j. Let me just pull this out for J in facility. So make sure you're being consistent with your indexing and then for I in customers. And you do not need a comma or anything right there. Um, we just want to close that off then. And the next thing we need to do, let's see how long this recording is. Um, so the next thing we need to do, um, we're going to set our constraints and I actually think I'm going to split this video into two. Um, so go ahead and check out part two of this video. And um, I hope this was helpful um, if you are trying to solve a facility location problem in Python using the pulp package. Um, but again, go check out part two. I'm going to have this exactly. Um, we're just going to keep continuing this onto the constraints.